Welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial is about circuit info reset. You know how important information is. Information which is very essential for effective operations and decision making at all levels in businesses. The widget I'm talking about will make you enable to present your information in circuit wise. So let's start the tutorial and keep your eyes till the end. I'm in Elementor dashboard. I have drag and drop circuit info widget. As I told in my intro, using this widget, you'll be able to show your information circle wise, and it can be clockwise or anti clockwise. Go to circuit info sections. Here you find some repeater. I click on the first repeater so that you can edit the content like title, description, and icon. I'm clicking on icon library and I'm setting another one icon. Look at the link. Here you can paste your URL, your desired URL, so that you can connect with another page. Here is here is a gear options and click on it and here you find two more options like open a new window and add no follow if you check the open a new window it will always help your face to open a new window on the other hand if you check add no follow it will help your face not to follow other link Now come to the additional info. Here you, here you have a chance to change the size of circle, icon area and icon together. In the state of hover event, when I'm hovering the icon, look, specific information is showing. When I'm selecting click event, look, when I'm hovering on the content, no content, sorry, when I'm hovering on the icon, no content is changing. If I click on specific icon, see, the specific content will be exposed for styling the widget go to style tab to icon this section will allow you to set icon color background color and shadow color in three modes normal hover and active in normal mode i'm i'm clicking on color palette I'm selecting color white and go to background and click on and clicking on the color palette and selecting background color I likewise hit on the shadow paint tool and see shadow is here and you can change the shadow color Similarly, you can go for other modes like hover and active. Look, I'm hovering and see the change. Now come to the title section, here you also find normal mode and hover mode. And in normal mode, you will be able to only text color and typography. 
and see the color of title is changing. I hit on the typography. From font family, you will be able to set your font. You can set a size in pixel mood, EM mood, REM, VW mood. In addition, you have a chance to set the weight of the title font. Go to transform and set offer case, lawyer case, capitalize, or you can keep it in normal mode. Go to style and you can you can select normal, italic, or oblique with default one. If I talk about line height, you can set line height in pixel or EM mode. There is letter is passing. See the spacing in the letter. It's under descriptions. You can do the same thing in descriptions like what you have seen in title section. I'm hitting on content section. Here is two mood, normal and hover. In hover mood, you will be able to set a background color. You can set also padding as you need. Border type in different styles, solid, double, dotted, dashed, or grove. When you are, when you have selected the border type, you have a, your option will be enable with. You can set your border width from here, and also color with the border. Now come to the additional section. There you will find two tab: border one and border two. Using these two tabs. You will be able to set style with and color with the border. Look, I'm setting border style with and color for border one. Similarly, I'm going for border two. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like and share this video.